we are displaying all of the items, uh, many of the items that were seized from the apartment in which uh, James Whitey Bulger and Catherine Gregg were living uh, when he was captured. They were captured in Santa Monica. This is, this is really a very unusual thing because typically when we seize items in a criminal case, the government, we will seek to forfeit it and we get a forfeiture order from the court and then we do have an auction but all of the funds then go to the government and it goes to the U.S. Treasury. In this case, we really, you know, I, from the beginning uh, of our involvement in terms of once Mr. Bulger was captured and all these items were seized, I really wanted to try to figure out ways that we could uh, give the victims back as much as possible. There were some items that we did not include uh, in the auction. For example, there are obviously some real personal items that belong to them, like undergarments and other type of personal clothing. We also uh, did not put up to bid certain household items that were not that valuable, you know, like tissue boxes and soaps, hand soap, dishwashing soap, and other household uh, things. And, um, and there was a, a manuscript or something that's been referred to as a memoir that he was in the process of writing uh, that were his writings and it contained references to violent acts and other inappropriate um, facts. And so we did not believe that that would be um, you know, a good thing to, to put up to bid. Firearms. Firearms are against the law. Uh, against federal law for the Marshal Service to sell. So these items that were seized, 33 firearms, are not up for auction or bid. He had uh, lots and lots of books, and maybe that was because he figured he better not go out of the house, the police would get him. But uh, very, very wide range of subjects. He seemed to uh, like World War II, uh, mafia type books and those type of things. and made lots of notes in margins of books on commenting how he feel or felt about the information in a particular paragraph, which I found interesting.